This is Dan Campbell, your boss. Now open up, goddammit! Hey, McLean, be reasonable. That's gotta be a shower in the blood of McLean! Open up! Fuck you! And your bloody company! You little mugging piece of shit. You're gonna regret this. dare to do that. Put it down. I said put it down. Vädelägstjänsten lovar klart väder hela dagen. Jag flyttar hem till Årgäng. Börje, hör du vad jag säger? Jag lämnar dig! Klart väder hela dagen. Far åt helvete. Vad fan kan man lita på egentligen? Vad kan du säga med det? Va? Men fan kan man lita på i det här jävla tjuvsamhället? Klart väder hela dagen. Kyssmärsligt. Yes. Edward, I've been asked to... Sir, I have a Milan Milanovic on the line. Will you take the call, sir? No. Uh, I'll call him back later. Edward? 
I've been asked to lend you to another department. You will get your instructions from, uh, from this fine young man. Um, uh, Samuel Campbell. I'm Sam Campbell. Welcome to the team. Have a seat. So, this is the splatter and gore department. Yes, it is. But right now, I'd rather call it the loose limbs department. European distributors have bought the whole loose limbs series. We're planning on showing part one all over Europe next spring. I don't understand. It's big. It's real big. It is huge. It's a $100 million deal. But why have I you... I personally think it's sad and very wrong. But as you know, of course, there is legislation in some of the European countries that forces us to cut down a bit on the violence in these films. You want me to... We're running a very tight schedule here. I need all the extra resources I can get. I want you to get started as soon as possible. Let's say... On Monday? Are you sure I'm really qualified for this kind of work? You're I mean... just the man I need, Eddie. You're perfect. I have a little house just outside town. Since we're just a tad short of space here, I've arranged for you to work there. It is a little inconvenient, but you'll manage, right? And remember, like we say here at Splatter and Gore Department, you keep them heads rolling, here. European distributors, Egwator Swenson. Hi, darling. Hello, Barbara. How's work going? I, I'm not interrupting you, am I? Nah, it's okay. You never talk about work. Is it that awful? No. Tell me. No, trust me, honey. You don't want to know. Yes, I do. Believe me. Edward, I'm not a child, so don't treat me like one, okay? Okay. In this film, there's a scene where a woman gets raped by a beaver and then shot in the head with a bazooka. Well, no, I, I you wanted to. You're telling me this, honey. Well, it's awful. A beaver. It's perverted. Honey, I'm doing it for a good cause. Please. I know, and I love you for that. Of course, I love you anyway. I love you too. You won't forget about Emmy's birthday party next Sunday. No, no, I won't forget. Promise. I promise. Are you sure? I'll be there. And I thought we could start at five. Yeah, five p.m. Don't be late. Sharp. Okay. Don't work too hard. Love you. I love you too. Bye. Yeah, I 
I want your body. Come on, baby. You can have it. Well, not all of it. I think I'll settle for an arm. An arm? <laughs> Feel a thing. Is the nail gone now, Dr. Wrench? Soon, my love. Soon. Yes! Cool, cool, cool! My foot! Well, hey, don't thank me. Thank science. Hi, Mel. Hi. Hi, honey. Hi, baby, what's up? Not much. What are you guys watching? Lose limbs five. Yeah. Really, Nick, can I ask you something? Uh -huh. Do you always have to watch these kind of films? Yeah. Nah. I'm not all fucked up. Yet. <laughs> stop it, Nick. Nick, stop it. Nick, stop it. Who do you think you are? Hannibal the Cannibal? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Nick. Where are you? Mm, here, Mr. Campbell. I hired a new editor for the Loose Limb series. I think he's pretty well set up for a while. But I want you, yeah, you, to be responsible for delivering new films when he needs them. Sure thing, Mr. Campbell. Whoa, damn. Hey, Nick. Yes, Mr. Campbell? Don't you screw it up. No, Mr. Campbell.
Hi, baby. Hi, honey. How you doing? I'm like cool. Fine. You know, I missed you today. I missed you too. You know, the day's just been uh-huh. like it's so much to do. Why is Loose Limbs eight in my office when it should be with Eddie? Number eight? Um, that's because, um, uh, I forgot. You are a piece of shit. Yes, sir. You'd better go now. Yes, sir. Any, uh, are there any messages for me, Melanie? Um, no, no, I'm sorry, sir. There's no messages for you today. Yeah. My God, he's so disgusting, yeah. you know? I'm so glad he's not my boss. Well, he's mine. The way he's pushing me around from morning till evening, you know? Like every fucking day, yeah. you know? I can't uh -huh. believe this. Yeah. You know, the way he walks yeah. in, he stares at me. It's really disgusting, you know? And he smells so awful, and he totally. smokes a lot, yeah. and... Uh -huh. My God, I can't believe yeah. he treats you this way. Uh -huh. Oh, hi, Eddie. Come on in, come on in. So, Eddie, what's your problem? I, I don't feel so good. I don't know what's happening to me. I, uh, I'm not sure if this job, the, the violence, or the blood. I, I, I don't know if I'm able to continue with... Well, Edward, neither do I. So you tell me. I, I want my old job back. These films, they give me the creeps. Don't forget your appointment at 10, Mr. Campbell. I won't, honey. Edward, I think it's important that you and I are open and honest with each other. You see, I'm not your mother or shrink. I'm your boss. I don't need to know your emotional state of mind. What I need is results, Edward. Results. And if you can't give me those results, you tell me here. Because if not, I'll have you fired. But Mr. Campbell, you can't mean nice that... Nice talking to you, Edward. Have a nice day. Mr. Campbell! Yes. Hello, Eddie. 
Yes, it's me. This is Sam at European. Are you okay? I think I maybe should be taken to a hospital. Uh huh. What's wrong? Are you feeling ill? Homesick? I don't know. Don't worry. It'll probably pass. Oh, great. Look, give me a break, will you? I'm coming out to visit you tomorrow. You know, I want to check things out. Sure. It's your world. I just live in it. See you tomorrow, then. I'm from, uh, European. Uh, Nick. You brought Loose Limb 7? Yeah, sure did. Huh. Great movie. Great movie? 90 minutes of condensed sex and violence. Do you call that a great movie? Do you have the slightest idea of what the moral and ethical principle is? Hey, man, relax. You shouldn't take things too seriously. I'm perfectly relaxed. Now give me the film and get the hell out of here! Feel a thing. Is the nail gone now, Dr. Ranch? <laughs> Soon, my love. Soon. <gasps> my foot! Well, hey, don't thank me. Thank science. Loose 
Williams 5, The Anatomy of Fear. Coming soon to a theater near you. Now it's dark. I'm still waiting. I don't understand. Waiting for what? For you to prove yourself. You've got such potential. It would be a real waste if you didn't put it to use. The whole world needs to be corrected. There's much work to be done. I trust you will be happy to do your part. I try to do my best. Yes. I know about your work. Let me be honest, I'm far from pleased. You know what's shown on the screen is a mere reflection of Summer's ungodly sick mind. You have to remove these minds or else nothing is won. Just remember not to expect any gratitude. Look what they did to me. And all I wanted was to free them from evil. <laughs> Them? You know, them. Yeah, I guess so. Come closer. Don't be afraid. Wonderful face. So noble. And so clean. You know, don't you, that they will have to adjust. They must be corrected or die.
your Nazi or you're going to die. Yeah. It's Sam. Sam Campbell. Hi. It is you, Eddie. Always nice with a warm welcome. I hope it wasn't meant to keep me out. You have some strange... neighbors. One of them got into the house last night. Yes, what happened? It was a fight. I scared him off. And now you're shutting up the house in order to keep him out, eh? I love that, Edward. I sure do. I like a man who ain't afraid of taking radical action. So... How are you getting on with your work? Good. I want to see it. Yes. Of course. Go right ahead. Eddie! Eddie! Are you coming? Listen. Sam calling Edward. Come in, Edward. Now get that neighbor shit out of your head. We have some serious business to discuss. I'm listening. I want you to answer a simple question. Can you do that for me? And tell me this. Where in the fuck is my beaver rape scene? It's out, of course. Are you nuts? That scene's worth a fortune. Oh, my God. This guy's a couple of cans short of a six-pack. There was no sexually explicit footage in that scene. No tits, no cocks, no pussy, no obscene body movements. Get it? Read my lips. Not X-rated. But it's... it's a disgusting scene. Make a note. Beaver rape clip stays in the film. I like you, Eddie. I, I really do. You're a nice guy. You want to do the right thing. Only... The right thing is wrong as long as you work for me. You hear what I'm saying to you? Eddie? What the fuck are you whining about? Come on, raise me 
to hell. Sadness and grief. Don't we? Being is hurting. So, my friend, I grant you a favor. You will eat pussy in hell for the rest of eternity. <laughs> Uh, hello.
Hello there. Uh, hi. New films for Edward? Yeah. Yeah. Are they any fun? Ha! Not, not really, no. I want films that are funny. You do? Coffee? Huh? Thanks. You have like a uh, sugar? Guess not. It's hot. You see, I really wanted to thank you for Loose Limb 7. Uh, yeah? Um, did you like it? Liked it? I loved it. So much pain. I love the concept of pain. Pain makes people so repentant. It almost gives me a hard on. <laughs> You're really something else, you know that? Yeah, you're right. I am. <laughs> Be silent! your brain. But don't you worry. I can help you. Are you ready? That, that's great, but um, right now I'm like, uh, I'm a little busy. Your disease is confusing you, my friend. You need me in order to make sensible decisions. <laughs> yeah. Listen, let me out, you fucking maniac. You fool. But I'll help you. Doves will nest in your heart. <laughs> Please, let me go. Yes, of course. Of course. But first we must decide what should be done with you. Me? Don't you fucking look at me! Thank you. 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 Thank you.
cut off the other one too. Perfect. As Zip, I, I think maybe. You don't think nothing. You do as I say. Capish? Load them. Groovy. Someone shows up, you make them leave, right? So you stay. Stop the car, sir. Whoa, whoa. Pisses me off. You're crazy. None of us want to die. So why don't I just walk out that door and we forget this ever happened, right? Wrong! <clears throat> this is dying time. Fuck. Mm -hmm. Oh, what can I say? It's a sad, but a beautiful world. <laughs> Fuck, I'll crush your skull and piss on the remains! What the? Mm. So you 
like headbanging, eh? <laughs> It's for you! Hello? Hello? Having fun yet? We're going out to see your daddy. But, Mother, what about my party? I'm sorry, Emmy. Go and get your coat, okay? Wait here.
Welcome, dear. Edward. <gasps> My God. You look terrible. You need a doctor. So, I ran out of band-aids. I'm taking you to the hospital. Edward, listen to me. So, I'm listening. Why have you removed everything except the sex and violence? Edward, you need professional help. Don't you patronize me. You don't know shit about these things. I'll show you, Barbara. I'll show you a good moral message. Watch carefully. You might even learn something. This is sick. Where's your sense of humor, darling? Don't you see? This is what happens if you fuck! This is outrageous. Fuck, 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 fuck! Barbara, I'm losing my patience with you. I can't believe you just said that. I, I was ashamed of you. It's terrible. I'm ashamed of my own husband. Oh. Stick your cock up her ass, oh. motherfucking worthless cocksucker. Yeah, I bet that's all you want. Oh God. Am I right? You're Am I right? Am I right? What is wrong with you? Come dance with me, Barbara. Honey bunch. Like we used to. Remember? We were young. We were lovers. Ooh. Remember how we used to dance all night. Hoo-ha! I'm leaving. No! <laughs> but you just came, honey. By the way, I won't let you. Edward. Edward. Let me at least take you to the hospital. You're hurt. You're hurt. You're hurt. I'm not hurt. This is not pain. You don't know what pain means. I'm going to show you pain. Meet pain. <gasps> You've been a naughty boy. Are you good? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Nothing's wrong with me. I've never been more right. Ah! For God's sake, stop it! <sighs> Are you mad? No, I don't think so. I think you're just so fucking horny, right? Well, you can tell me. You can tell good old Eddie. Come on. Come on, say it. Mm, fuck me. Fuck me hard. Oh, yeah. Me so horny. Me love you a long time. <laughs> you naughty girl. So this is what you play with when I'm not around to give you a treat? Stunning, little thing. Pleasant surprise. Now we have not only the big bad bitch, but also her little naughty, naughty, 
daughter. Come on, come on, come. Give daddy a hug. Come, honey. Come to daddy. Is this the police? Yes, ma'am. Something terrible, it's happened. Please come quickly. You pathetic freak. Emmy. Emmy. Daddy's gonna cut. Daddy's gonna cut. Daddy's gonna cut. Barbara! Barbara! Listen to this, Barbara! <laughs>
Don't you fucking look at me. Bitch! <laughs> This man is too wild. Take him out of here. He's okay now. You can remove the jacket.
I told the doctor someone's after me, but they told me I was paranoid. Is that true? That's true. But just because you're paranoid doesn't mean I'm not here to get you. <laughs> Hi. Hi, hon. I don't look so good, do I? No. You look like shit. to make this boy pure of art. No. How do you think it makes me feel to see you destroy my work, you worthless little whore? Somebody help! Help! Oh, Nick! Shut up. Help, Nick! No, help! Nick, help! Nick! Nick! Fuck you!
where's the problem? Be careful out there, Captain. He's extremely dangerous. Affirmative. You heard the man. Are you ready to kick some ass, girls? Yes, yes sir! We love to kick ass, ass, sir! Nice tie. <laughs> He's been here all right. <laughs> nice bed. Let me! No! No! Remember, this is an excellent opportunity to save a taxpayer's money. Boom!
Move. Bye, dude. There, you sick son of a bitch. Come on out. Come on out. Fight like a man.
soon, my love. Soon. you proved yourself wrong. But I did everything you told me to, didn't I? Search. The truth lies within you. You tried your best, but now you have to pay for your failures. Stay away from me. Rest in pieces, motherfucker. An empty feeling came over me when I lowered the gun. Strange. After all, Mel was amazingly still alive, and yet... It had been a bad and violent day. As I watched Mel lying there, purity and innocence personified it, it all suddenly became clear to me. Someday the world will be a kinder place for everybody, for the children, for the little puppies, and for everything soft, cuddly, and wonderful. Someday love will rule the world. It will happen. Oh yes, it will happen. Say you feel comfortable. Uh -huh. 